Hi guys, real quick I want to go over how to use masks with Darkroom Booth. So here I have a template pulled up. If I uh, double click on the photo object to bring it up and then click right here, edit for a predefined mask, I can turn this rectangle into a rounded rectangle. So you can see the corners are now rounded. Or I can go with a uh, soft edge rectangle. Where is it? Oh, there it is. There's a whole bunch to choose from. We can take it a step further and go with a custom mask. I'm going to browse to a file I have on my desktop. And I'll try to include this with the video. So I can choose this ornate uh, JPEG. White um, reveals, black conceals. It's helpful to remember how it's going to come out. And now I have an ornate shape for my photo node. Um, I can do the same thing with a, uh, a strip. It's uh, in a slightly different location under options. So it already has one on it, but let's go ahead and change that to hearts. There we go. So these custom masks that I'm using are just simple JPEGs. Here we have that one. There's a little camera. So I'll include these uh, so you can try it out yourself. In the next video, we'll talk about using masks with uh, backgrounds so that you can edit the, uh, the colors. Um, have a primary and secondary color. Hope this has been helpful. Have a good one. So this is part two of our masks video. If you haven't watched part one, go ahead and watch that first and then this will build off of that. What we're going to do is we're going to use a mask to create a background. So we'll start with new. We'll do a four by six. horizontal and then let's go back here we're going to change our page color to kind of aqua color and then we're going to add a an effect and use a uh, color effect I'm going to click edit and then browse to a mask for background and let's see our color is white so now we have this um, effect with a white mask on the aqua or teal colored background um, we can now go in and change this to a cream color or the effect color masks typically work best when they're uh, a solid black and white let's pull this up but you can use images with gray in them as well so let's update this one with this one right here and see how that works. So uh, that's part two of our masks video. In part three, uh, we will go into Photoshop for a little bit more advanced users and see how you can use uh, a mask in Photoshop for a design for Darkroom Booth. Hope this has been helpful. See you next time. In this final bonus video uh, going over masks, we're going to create a use a mask to create uh, stylized text in Photoshop to use in Darkroom. So I have my, uh, my layer, my gold foil layer here, and it is not a background layer. It's not locked, so I duplicated it so it's on top of a, another layer in this black background just so we can see what's going to happen. So I'm going to use my text tool, type in some text, and 
place it. I'm going to hold down Control and click on uh, the text layer to get a selection. And now I can hide that layer. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to select the gold foil layer and click on the mask button right here. And I now have some text. And then we can remove this, this background. What we'll do is just add a um, bevel emboss just to give it a 3D effect. And then save it as a PNG. And we can import it into Darkroom as a stylized text that we wouldn't be able to create in Darkroom. Hope this has been helpful. It's important to remember this is a Photoshop technique. It's a little bit more advanced than something that's not necessarily supported uh, by Darkroom. But uh, you can do it in Photoshop to bring it over into Darkroom. Hope this has been helpful. Thanks. Have a good one.